Good morning everybody, SoCal Saber Bill Thornton here and today we're going to be taking a look at Inside the Paint Basketball the Cards and Facts version. I think I'm going to do this in two parts. In this first one today I'm going to show you the components of the cards, explain a few things about the cards and so forth and then in my second one I'll do a short demo, maybe a half a period or a period and uh, see how you like it. So. Let's get down to the table and start taking a look at Inside the Paint Basketball. If you like this, go down here and hit that like button, push it out into social media channels, and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. This uh, game doesn't get a lot of action on YouTube as far as the cards and the facts versions. So, uh, you know, let's help it out here some. <clears throat> what I got here laid out is I, when I ordered the set, I ordered the 85 86 season with them uh, and, I, and I got Boston laid out here in Atlanta okay this is the way they you could put the cards anywhere you want but they say the line them up this way center power forward for forward or shooting forward whatever you want to call them the guard and the point guard okay <clears throat> each team has a team card okay and it's got like the t turnovers, a fast break, three point, and home field advantage. These are numbers that will be applied as a modifier anytime there's a turnover request or a fast break or three point. Then the wins and loss, and so forth. And then their team records. Okay, then uh, let's take a look at the. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at Birds because he's got three point shots on there. Okay, Larry Bird gives you the season, 85, 86, the minutes that he played per game, 38. Now this one and one over here, this, each one, each number equates to three minutes of rest that is needed in each half. So Larry needs to rest three minutes in each half as you're playing the game. When I show you the demo tomorrow, I'll show you how I keep track of it. Then as the game goes on in the facts, I'll draw one here. Just real quickly before I explain the facts. See this number 19 in the blue here? If Larry had drawn that card, we would go over to his to this section right here. Go down, look in, we'll see what 19 is. It'll be a two-point shot. Then we would flip over another card. Now, Bird's shooting percentage is 46% on two-pointers. So if the number was 1 to 46, it would be good. If not, it would be a rebound. This is his three-point percentage. This is his percentage if he gets an offensive rebound and puts it back up. And this is his fast break percentage. <clears throat> okay, and when you go down when you go down the section, it can be either a two-pointer, a turnover, fouled in the act of shooting, uh, on a, a pass, or don't pass too much. And then an assist would be, this is like an automatic assist. You play a great pass to somebody else who made a basket. I'll show you how when we do the demo, how to figure that out in three points. Over here on the right side, we have his offensive re rebounding rating, his defensive rebounding rating, his free throw shooting, 90%. Nice. Then uh, going down is FD is his foul draw rating, which will come into play if, if he has this, he would have drawn a foul. And then you got four shot, two pointers or three pointers. And this is when uh, the clock is running out. After two passes, the clock in, that you can't make, the clock's running out, you before, do a four shot. Then down here we have CF, which he says committed to foul, the defensive rating, of course, his steal rating and his block rating. Now down here, this is really important. This is his go-to rating right here <coughs> and his deny rating. Now what the go-to rating is, it'll be the card will come up and it'll say uh, uh, forward 11. And now if the go-to rating is higher than the number on the, on the fact, then he gets the pass. But we'll say that it was <coughs> uh, the, his opponent was trying and his opponent had a go-to rating of 3. Larry's deny rating, one through four, 
would prohibit that three player from getting the pass. So then we would have to do to the, go to the second pass and so forth. Uh, it's not very complicated. Uh, took me a little bit while to get my ha my hands uh, my head wrapped around it. The uh, rule book is nice and simply it's simply written. I had a little confusion with where to read and what to do and so forth. Uh, it's about seven pages of rules, and then there's a lot of cool optional things that happen in there. It also comes with a couple charts, which I'll show you here. Well, first let me finish showing you the cards. These are the fast action cards. Okay, <clears throat> they're the same card. They're two-sided cards, and you would flip them over like this. Okay, so now we're going to say, all right, we're gonna, we we got to pass an inbound to the other team to score. So we're going to look at here, and it's going to go to the point guard. <clears throat> Let me see if I can find them. Boy, oh boy, they're all point guards. Come on, give me a modifier. There we go. <clears throat> this one said it would go to the center if he has a go-to rating of two or better. Now Robert Parrish has a go-to rating of six, the center, so it can go to him, but then we have to check the, the deny rating of his opponent, and his deny rating is a one. So it's lower than that two, Parrish would get the ball. If it was two or higher, Parrish would not get the ball. All right, when these flip over, I'll show you. Now I'll start showing you some things on these cards. We'll say we just flip these over, and they read like this. They're two-part cards. Okay, I just showed you that. Now, if the deny rating and denied Parrish getting the ball, and then we can go to the power forward, and if he's a nine or more, we can the ball can go to him. All right. And there isn't too many, there isn't any, I haven't run across any denies that are nine or more right now. I understand that in the old days, uh, Will Chamberlain days and Jerry West days, there was some deny ratings that were pretty high. And then this here is the number. We're going to say Parrish got the ball. 16. Oops. So we go to Parrish's column down here. We look for 16. 1 to 31. He's going to be shooting a two-pointer. Okay, so now we're going to flip this over. It's going to be this way. <clears throat> and we're going to be looking at the shot number. It's a five. Okay, that falls in his two-point percentage rating of six, or 46, and it is good. Okay, but before we can say that it's good, we have to check the center. If his block rating is equal to or more than 18, then it's blocked. His block rating is 6. It's not blocked. Okay. This here is what the the optional role played for the home team and so forth. And that and, the, and I, I haven't played that yet. That's one of the optional rules. Then I talked about the, on the card the assist. Let's go to that first. The assist, okay? We're going to say that this was this way. We got an assist. So, and this is Parrish with the ball. He got the assist. We go to the next card. We go down here to the assist rating, and it says, goes to the guard, all right, if he's got a 10 or more. Now, we will look here to the guard, Danny Ainge, and he doesn't. He, oh, his assist rating is 8. That's what we're looking at here. The assist rating is 8. So he can't get it. So then we will go over and check the point guard. His assist rating is 10. So he would get the basket. Robert Parrish would get the assist. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to say that the shot was just missed by Parrish. He, he went up and he missed the shot. So we're going to flip another one. And this time, we're going to go to the rebound section. We're going to go to the defensive point guard if he's 19 or the offensive forward. So we go to the point guard. His defensive rebound is only 8. So we're going to get the offensive forward, Larry Bird, with the rebound. So that played in real good. So if we, Larry Bird got that rebound, he's offensive, we would go over here 
to the right side. <coughs> I'll flip a card. Oh. You're always flipping, I believe. Okay, let's flip this to stay consistent. And we're going to check down here. And that would be offensive rebound, 23. We'd go down to Bird's card, go down the middle section. The 23 fits in there, and he'll be shooting a... Uh, shooting a... Uh, a two-pointer in that. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> I forgot to show you one thing. After a, uh, not with that assist that I just showed you, that automatic basket and everything, after a shot is made, let's say Parrish made that two-pointer before, we would <clears throat> flip over and we go to I got it up, this card upside down. That's why that's why I'm getting confused. That one's backwards. I put them in there backwards. You go over here to the assist lookup section, and it'll say the point guard if he's got a 23. Well, Dennis Johnson is only a 10, so there'd be no lookup at that one. Anytime there's a defensive rebound or a steal, there's a possible fast break. And when we, do, when we do that one, we go over here, we go to the fast break section, and this one here says F2. That means if the, <clears throat> his, if the forward steal rating is a 2, it, <clears throat> it can't be a fast break. It has to be, no, what this one means, I'm going to read it right for you. When you go to the fast break, it cannot be a fast break because it's going to be a steal only. Let's see if I can find the fast break. Okay, now we have a fast break, and it says the point guard can have a fast break if he's a 17 or more. So we would look at the point guard, and this is his fast break rating here to 16. Okay, so he does not get a fast break. So what that means there, there was no fast break, so now we're going to go to pass. They got the they got the rebound. Now they're going to pass to take the ball down down the court. Timing on the game, <clears throat> it's timed every 12 seconds. Whenever there's a pass to, that's 12 seconds off of the clock. I'll show you this chart here in a little bit minutes. And that's the only time the timing is. There's no timing like an offensive rebounds. Only when it's a pass to, so that's pretty cool. <clears throat> so let me see if I can if there's anything else on here. Yeah, the jump, the jump, okay. We're going to say, the way they say to do it is you get the highest off rebounding, offensive rebounding rating on each team. Then you flip the card over and you go to jump. And you add, well, this point four would, or plus four would go to the lowest guy. And then if they their team won the rebound, it would go to the power forward. Some of the charts that come with it. <clears throat> it's this one here. This is what I, uh, it's the only part I'm using right now is the timing checks. And of course, this is college. If you start up here, if you pros, you start at the 12 minute mark, you move it 12 seconds. It's marked off 12 seconds every time you do a pass. Down here to the bottom, you can use these uh, markers. I use a marker up there on that. I also use a marker to tell me, remember who's got the ball. All right, so you can use the markers to do the scoring if you want. I use a score sheet. And then you got turnovers and, and personal fouls that you can use the markers on. There's a plenty of markers in the bag. And then there's this mom bar. This is an optional. I haven't got to this yet, but it looks pretty cool. I see it in, on the, the computer games that the guys play in there. It's a momentum bar. When certain things happen, the team's momentum goes up or down. And that will have an effect on plays. Uh, let's see if I can find find one here to show you. Oh yeah, right right off the bat. Okay, this guy's shot was a 25. It says uh, number it's a number, it's a 100. If the team momentum is lower than equal or lower than minus five, I don't see how it can be lower than minus five. But anyway, then the shot would be no good. 
I don't, that's not, that might be wrong, because like I said, I'm not playing any of the optional rules yet. All right, and then the other chart <coughs> that comes with it is this nice handy reference chart. Down the left-hand side, it'll talk about the facts section of the card, <coughs> and then it'll, what, who gets what, gets the pass, outcomes of 1 through 40, that's the two-pointers, the turnovers, and everything, and that. But I didn't show you the, the fouls. Okay, so we're going to say a, a player, Bird, got went down his card and got F2 there. So now we flip over to the next section and we go to the F2 section that says the power forward. <coughs> okay, it's 24 or more. You go over to their power forward and you look at their rebound rating and his is 22. No, it's foul it's commit rating. I'm sorry, the CF commit foul rating is 47, so he would have committed the foul. All right, and also showing you this is more than down here on defensive stops. Shots missed, blocked. There's that one we were just talking about. <clears throat> it says if the FD rate number, oh, I, I read did it wrong. It says if the FD number is greater than or equal to the foul, resolve whether the basket was made using the shot percentage. Okay. Then we got the fact section on rebounds, different types of rebounds, loose ball fouls, and other things. Then on the back, we have the X chart. This is a, I don't know, rare play chart that the uh, most games have in all different types of sports. So that basically is the components of this game and the cards and how they, partially how they work. You'll see more of how they work when I do the demo in part two. It is going to be part two since this uh, recording is already hitting the 17 minute mark. And uh, I don't want to drag you so. I hope you like this. Go down there and hit that like button. Let's get this game some more advertisement as far as the cards and the facts out there on YouTube. So please push it out on your social media channels. Let your friends know about it if you're a sports fan. And I'll see you soon and show you a demo on this. So this is SoCal Saber. Take care of yourselves. Be kind to each other and stay safe.